Hi, welcome. Most of you go about daily lives without knowing that data science is at work in most of what you do. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three ways data science is being applied in the telecoms company. And some of you don't even know that that is data science at work. Market segmentation. What is market segmentation to a telecom company? A telecom director is very interested to know what are the small segments found in his customer base. For example, who are the high value customers? Who are the low value customers? Who are the mid value customers? To be able to better customize products that suit those specific small segments. That is why, for example, you receive a certain level of a certain pricing for your bundles while your neighbor or your friend receives a certain specific targeted offers based on his behavior. So telecom companies separate their customers to segments. Segments could go right up to 100 segments. It could be three, it could be four, it could be hundreds. Just so each segment gets a specific message, specific offer at a specific time based on what is interesting to them. So how does data science fit into this? Data science use techniques like k-means clustering, hierarchical clustering to be able to set the customers into clusters with different centroids, which is an average of their behavior. So in cluster A with this centroid, you guys behave like this. Cluster B with this centroid, you guys behave like this, which would be able to help the marketing director achieve his objective. Two, churn reduction. What is churn to a company? Simply, churn is about customers leaving your network. Nobody wants a customer to leave the network. For it costs five times more to recruit a new customer than to retain an old customer. So the telecom company is interested in keeping the base so nobody leaves. And how does data science help in this situation? Data science constructs the database of all the customers based on their demographics, age, sex, all that, and based on their transaction, the number of voice minutes used, the number of SMS used, the plans they have subscribed to, how many times they contacted the call center, and all that, to be able to come up with one big database which describes exactly what each customer is and is able to predict when a customer is about to leave the network based on machine learning. So data science comes in, collects that data, finds a pattern for those who left, say, last few months, develops that pattern and predicts for the future that, okay, this is what we've seen for those who left us. So when we start seeing this kind of trend for those who are currently here, this is what we need to do to prevent these people from leaving just like the machine has learned previously for those who left previously. Three, sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is mostly used on the social media. So a customer comes all front to the company, he's smiling, but when he goes on social media, he airs out what he feels about the brand, speaks the truth expresses without fear or without any constraint. And that is usually where the truth lies. So a company is usually interested to know, okay, I recently launched this offer yesterday. What are people talking about? Or how do they feel about this offer? Do they feel positive about it? Or do they feel negative about it? And that is why sentiment analysis is a very important thing to measure, especially for campaigns and how the company's image is being evaluated. So how do data scientists help in this? The data scientist collects all the unstructured data from Facebook, from YouTube, from all the social media, bring them together and aggregate that to the customer database to be able to give a score. The score usually ranges from plus one to minus one. With plus one meaning very, very positive sentiments and minus one meaning very negative sentiment. So the score is usually in that range of plus one and minus one. So there you have it. You have three applications of data science in telecom. There are more, but these are the three main applications that you don't know is being done every day, but 
it is what telecom is using data sciences to help them achieve the objectives thank you and see you next video where i talk of more applications of data science in real life